So during World War I, Mussolini was paid by a British MI5 counterintelligence agent what would be the equivalency today of thousands of dollars per week to produce propaganda favorable to the war, which Mussolini did through his paper, which translates as The People of Italy. And according to the agent's memoirs, Mussolini, in exchange for the funding, would also send men to beat up anti-war demonstrators, sowing the seeds for the black shirts who he would use to terrorize the Italian people, attack communists, socialists, peace demonstrators, and labor unions. We didn't know that Mussolini was a paid propaganda agent until the 50s, and it wasn't until 2009 that Dr. Martlin from Cambridge University discovered MI5 documents that not only provided indisputable proof that Mussolini was indeed a paid agent, but also gave us the amount of 100 pounds per week that Mussolini was paid. The paper was created in 1914 after Mussolini's expulsion from the Socialist Party. It became a mouthpiece for pro-war and fascist sentiments. Other than Britain, the paper was also funded by pro-war Italian industrialists. The paper was produced six days a week. The paper was extremely important to Mussolini and to his rise in politics. He says this about it in his autobiography. Even now, I call this new paper my most cherished child. It was only through it, small as it was its beginning, that I was able to win all the battles of my political life. I am still its director. I could write and may write a thousand memories of this newspaper, which was born in 1914 and remained my platform up to 1922. It was an instrument for the making of me. Its story, in any case, may be told through my personality as a political man, as a newspaper man, as a believer in this war, as a soldier, as an Italian, and as a fascist. And this isn't the only financial surprise Mussolini has for us. Did you know that he once paid the Pope for the church to recognize his fascist regime? And they did. They took the money. And in exchange, he uh, took away the separation of church and state and made the uh, Catholic Church the official church of fascist Italy. Uh, I'll go over this in a future video. The church actually still has the money today in offshore accounts, and they've invested in property in the UK, Switzerland, and France.